All right, guys. So this one's for Kingdom Hearts 3. Now this one's a little special because uh, instead of going to quick mode, you're actually going to go into advanced mode. Um, the previous steps you can see in the previous video before this one with the Persona 5, exact same way. Transfer the file from your PS4 to your USB that's plugged into your PS4. Once it's done, plug the USB into your computer turn on save wizard and it should load the list of the games you have on USB up then you right click and you choose advanced mode for Kingdom Hearts now Kingdom Hearts 3 large file it took almost two hours today for me to actually open the file or to upload the save to the network um, but this is what it comes up as and as you can see over here I have the Kingdom Hearts 3 save editor open uh, this is something another user created that lets us actually modify the save files and kind of actually see what we're doing. So uh, I'll actually put that in the description as well, the link to that download. But um, so when you have advanced mode open, you're going to come here. This is where you select the file. I had four, saves, four save uh, files on my Kingdom Hearts 3. So I want to modify slot 2 which I have selected there and that changes everything on here to slot 2 and you can come up here these uh, icons right here on the top right you'll see one says export to file that's the one you're going to click on when you click on that it'll basically take all of this and save it to like a dot bin file which is what the save editor uses to edit so let's go ahead and show you really fast and you click on it see and you can save it that's what you're going to need to uh, start editing which I've already done so I'm going to come over here I have the save editor opened already once you open it you're going to hit file open and you're going to select the one you're using like I said I'm using slot 2 so I select that one and it's already opened it for me it shows everything that I have uh, the save editor shows like the difficulty the world logo character icon location you can change any of this so say I want to use uh, say I'll say Axel or something so put Axel on there uh, change it to critical mode which is kind of still locked you can change the experience to save clear, uh, enemies defeated, world room, which is kind of changes where you spawn. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on map ID three, and then oh, one thing I wanna do: crabs collected. I'm gonna put like ten thousand for whenever I do get to uh, Paris of the Caribbean world. I already have ten thousand crabs. Just to you know, actually, you know what? I'm gonna be greedy. 50,000 crabs. Yeah. <laughs> Money. Uh, just so I know that I modified the file correctly, I'm going to look for a certain number. So I'm going to put 777,777. Alright. So that's. Click up here, hit save before you switch to the tab. You don't have to, but I just do it just because. I'm going to go over here to inventory. And this is basically going to show you all your items and everything. Um, you can give yourself whatever you want, basically. You can give yourself all the accessories, all the items, whatever you want. Um, so you can run in here and put like 99 potions. Um, and it'll actually give you that in your inventory. So, um, what I want to do is put 99 of certain items that I'd like to have. And refocuser. So let's put, I have put high refocuser, mega elixir on 99 for each one. So, uh, pretty useful. You can actually go over 99 as well. Um, here we have like the boost, 
items for your stats. Go in there, you can change those if you want. Uh, this is where quick mode would actually come in handy because there's actually an all items, all accessories, all everything code. So it gives you 99 of all of these, except for the keyblades, obviously, it gives you one of each just because. Uh, in here go ahead and put one for each one so I can have all of them let me go ahead and skip ahead because this is gonna take a while all right so I went ahead and picked a bunch of random accessories and such just so I could show um, switch over here to the characters tab I call it Sora here it shows your current stats and all you can adjust the HP and MP but it's, those two stats are actually based on your progression in the game so no matter what you put it's going to reset to what it currently is now um, focus you can change your attack boost your defense boost so i want to give say i want to give Zora max defense let's put 255 i'm going to go ahead and do the same for donald and goofy just because i want my boys by my side the whole time You can change that is their combat style, their ability usage, their recovery, um, a lot of things. Uh, their equipment, for instance, right now Sora has the Kingdom Key just equipped its first slot, so I can go ahead and uh, actually they've changed it. So you'd have to use advanced mode, which is accessed by hitting options and clicking on advanced mode. And what that will do is switch the mode that you're using for the editor it gives you actually more options so now that I switched over see it looks different now instead of giving me accessories I can switch to weapons and actually equipped practically any weapon on Sora of course a lot of them don't work if they're not meant for Sora um, which makes sense um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the nano gear and The ever after. You can equip them with different armors as well. So let's say I want to give them a royal ribbon. ribbon. And same thing on here. Boom. Accessories even. And let's say a not a cosmic ring. Um, Where's the master's? Yeah, master's necklace. And then items, uh, give him mega elixir. Okay, that's basically it. And the abilities tab is one that does not, uh, doesn't really work yet. It's still experimental. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put some stuff in anyways and see what happens. So if it messes up, you guys will see what happens if well, you do something wrong. Alright, so here's the fun tab. It's the shortcuts tab. This is where you can modify all your active shortcuts in Kingdom Hearts 3 when you hold down L1 and you can press so you go circle, triangle, square, or X. Um, this is actually my favorite part. So uh, what I usually like to do is actually put the highest level magics in the slots. So, let's see if I can find, uh, let's see, I have Fire as a, for circle, triangle you can have, uh, I think I'll put Thumbtaza in there. And the best thing about these, you can use these high level magics and it doesn't consume any of your MP bar. So, actually, Kyreza was not in the game, but it's on this list which is basically it fully heals your entire team and no MP is uh, consumed. Um, also you can have like uh, the forms like um, such as second form or nano arms, any of them. The thing is, if you use one of those, you have to have that keyblade equipped like within one of your three. So if you use the nano arms as your shortcut, if you don't have the actual Keyblade in one of your three slots, 
that Sora has actively equipped. Uh, Sora will actually just freeze up and it'll freeze the game. Well, it won't freeze the game, but it'll freeze Sora to the point that you have to like restart the game. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put second form here if I can find it. Uh, where was it? Where was it? Second form here. So second form is actually universal. You can have any Keyblade equipped and still use second form. And it'll still do the three attacks, the uh, the stun impact, the Sonic Blade, and the... Uh, uh, I'm drawing a blank here. Anyway, it's a... Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put in some more different magic and shortcuts. And I'll skip ahead here. All right, so that's basically the meat of it. As you see, I have to in Fireza, Thunderza, Second Farm, Kiraza, Waterza, Eroza, Second Farm S, Nano Arms, and Maraud Staff. And then just to try some stuff, I want to see if King's Flare and Sea Spectacle work for summons without consuming the MP gauge. And also see if Sea Thunder, which is the versions of the magic that Sora uses underwater, will actually work outside of actually Pirates of the Caribbean world and being on land, obviously. Um, I'm going to go back to the system here, I'm going to hit save just to make sure that things are saved, um, double check everything, switch back to standard mode so I can see if anything looks weird, alright, and switch this back over, okay, so everything looks good to me, save one more time just because I'm that guy, and what you're going to do, Come back over to your save wizard, and then you see this up here, this right one here, it says import file. So we're going to hit that, I'm going to select data slot 2, which is the one we just modified, and give it a little time here. Okay, and now it's actually imported over so things have changed so as you can see the apply button down here is still grayed out so i can't actually apply what i did so what you would do click any random like zero or anything in here and basically just press whatever number is already there so if it's a zero i highlight it i'll just press zero that way i modified it myself and save wizard and you get a little warning sign just hit continue and now you can actually hit the apply button. So now you hit the apply, hit yes, and it will go ahead and modify your actual save file for you. Now this takes a little time too, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead again. Alrighty, so it finally finished updating, or applying the modifications I made. So if that happens, I hit okay. Takes me back there. So now I can remove my USB from my computer put it into my PlayStation. And actually, let me put in Kingdom Hearts 3. So I had Devil May Cry here. Now I just put the USB into the PS4 console. Let's switch to the TV here. Before we start the game, we're gonna go over to settings. For sure, I just passed it. Application save data management. Save data on USB storage device. We're going to copy the modified save over to the console. Yes. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load up the file and see. What happens? Remember, I'm looking for the seven 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 dollar amount that I put in there, and also turn it down a little bit. And there it is. See, it's got seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand money there, and Axel's avatar. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it up and see if other things worked as well. Fingers crossed. All right, so let's find out. All 
All right, so first thing I'm gonna check is my shortcuts. Has the right shortcuts down there. Fire is off. Thumb is off. Second form right there. Stun impact. Uh, cures off. And I have the three keyblades that I want. Um, Ward is up. Hair Rosa. It's cool. Nano arms. And down here we have Mirage Staff. There we go. And this is all at the beginning of the game, so that's the really cool part. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check the equipment as well. Now the Royal Ribbon, Master's Necklace, uh, all the Mega Elixirs, High Refocuser. Stall and Goofy have theirs as well. Uh, check abilities. Uh, so the abilities code did not work. Like I said, it's still experimental. Um, something you can do, there's actually a little story progression modifier where you can modify your story progression. So let's say you get to the end of the game and you want to keep all the abilities at the end of the game but start over again. So you would simply modify the story to set so that you're at the beginning of the game again in a way so that's one way to have the abilities from the beginning which is the way I'd like to play but yeah that's basically it um, I'll show you a little gameplay here if you want but yeah basically back at the beginning of the game again and I have access to all the magic and form abilities Second form S2, which will give you ancient light. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. Um, pretty sure this editor is going to grow some more and um, add even more things to it you can do to the game. But uh, anyways, that's it. If you have any questions, just ask me, and uh, feel free to try to answer, okay? Thanks.